Hi everyone, it's me Cindy again and um, we're gonna make a card today and we're gonna make this card and um, it's using uh, papers and ink from um, Stampin' Up and I used this stamp set, a really cute one and it's the Marianne Design Faced Mouse. This is the bag and these are all the stamps in it. I hope you can see it a little bit on the sheet. Without the glare. Really cute stamp set. And I'm using two of the mice that's on it. The cake and the sentiments are from that stamp set and also the music notes. I hope you can see the music notes. Yeah, there you are. So that's uh, what I used on the stamp set. And then I used some DSP paper from the um, Petal Garden Designer Paper se Series stack from uh, Stampin' Up. And there's lots and lots of pretty papers in this collection. As you can see, these are the back sides. And these are the front sides with all the pretty flowers really nice paper stack and I used this one and this is the back side of the paper so that's what one I used and I also used a, uh, this paper and that's from the um, let me see succulent garden DSP paper from uh, Stampin Up uh, then I used some archival ink to stamp my uh, mice and cake and that's because I'm gonna work with the inks and my Dove Blender pen. Uh, Stampin' Up so also sells them but I have the Dove Blender pen so it doesn't really matter which one you have. I used four colors of Stampin' Up ink. I used Crumb Cake, Calypso Coral, Soft Sky and Sweet Sugar Plum. I have my uh, stamping scrap here beside me. I'm gonna spray some on it so I can clean off my stamps while I'm working. Uh, I already cut my uh, layers of paper so I've got a piece of Whisper White uh, cut at 14 and a half by uh, 21 scored at 10 and a half so that's my base card. Then I have a uh, piece of designer paper, 14 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Then I uh, cut two circles from the um, layering circle framelit dies, and I used the second largest scalloped one and the second largest uh, circle, normal circle one. And these are two are going to be layered together. Uh, this piece of designer paper is 14 centimeters by three and a half centimeters and then you're gonna need two pieces of scrap for your uh, label here. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Then I also used a uh, sponge thing. Uh, this is the I think the Nelly Sneller one. I'm not sure, or Tim Holtz, doesn't matter which one you have. You can also use a sponge or anything like that, no problem. And before I forget, I also use some stamping dimensionals in the sm small ones and the normal ones. And I used these uh, enamel shapes in the ink colors uh, 2000. 16 2018 and these this one is the uh, sweet sugar plum color so i believe that's all of the things i'm gonna use so let's just get started i'm gonna stamp my uh things first i already uh, put down some of the stamps on my clear block i still need to switch them out because i don't have that many but that doesn't matter to me. So what I'm gonna do first is stamp my um, cake in the archival ink. And I'm gonna do it 
about in the center of the card. I hope I'm not with my head in the way. I'm going to leave it there for a while so it, the paper can soak up the ink. And I'm going to clean it off right away. So that's that one. And then I'm going to switch it out for a one of the mice and I'm going to use this one. Of course, my finger in the ink as usual. I'm going to stamp this one on the side besides the cake. Make sure it's yeah. Stamp it here. Okay. Soak up. Yep. Yeah. Let's clean it off again and take the other mouse. And that's this one. So, and that one I'm going to do a little bit higher because it's jumping in the air from joy. Yep, and that's it. All cleaned off. And then I'm also going to need Mark and Amphasiophon. I'm sorry for the foreign people, but that's this uh, saying, Mark and Gefeesjevan. It's something like, let's make a party of it. And this is gefeliciteerd, and it means congratulations. So it's from that sta same stamp set. Does it fit on here? Yeah, it does. And I'm going to stamp this one in Calypso Coral. So I'm going to clean off. Put the cap on my archival ink. I'm not going to use that again. So I'm going to put it away and take out my Calypso Coral and stamp this sentiment between here. It's a little bit more snug than the first one. I should have put it a little bit higher, but um, then it's gonna go over the plate a little bit, doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's it. As you can see, it's a little bit onto the plate, but that doesn't really matter, it doesn't bother me, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Let's put that one back. And then the last thing I'm going to do at this point is uh, stamping the music notes. And that's what I'm going to do with crumb cake. But I'm not going to stamp full strength, but just stamped off one time. So that's what I'm going to do. Stamp it off and put it right there. And the other times I just took one of the notes and just inked up that just, just that one. So be really careful, put it on the corner of your uh, ink pad because then you can get in the... Oh, silly me doesn't stamp off. Really, really smart doesn't really matter that much but this one is stamped off oh, did too much clean off my stamp and try again just a little bit here stamp off and put some here and then I'm gonna put these three in the ink just these three ones and stamp off again 
just making sure this one is clean stamp off and stamp them right here so I think that's enough I'm gonna show you look at these cute music notes so that's that and what I'm gonna do next is color in the mice and the cake with my four colors sorry that's my dog he's outside and He's barking. I don't know why, but he is. So, let's take out all my colors. Um, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do my crumb cake first. Let's take, let's take it back. And you can already see there is some ink there, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. I just click it open a little bit and then squeeze on the bottom, and then you have your ink in your lid and from there you can t pick it up with your blender pen um, I don't want it real dark like when I do it like this you get a pretty dark uh, color and I don't want that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you from close just go out a little bit so it gets lighter and then take that to color in my mice I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better, what I'm doing. Yep, yeah, there I am. That's probably close enough. So, I'm just going to color it in with not that much color. I'm going to keep the eye ears a little bit lighter because I'm going to get some pink to go inside in a minute, but just let me do the bodies first. As you can see, I don't use that much. I hope I'm not in the way with my head. No, I don't think so. And then this my mouse. Gonna keep his mouth clear and put some pink in there as well. His ear is behind his arm, so I'm gonna give that some color too. And coloring the rest of his body. It's getting too light. I'm just gonna pick it up a little bit from the center of the ink again and make it a little bit darker. Make sure you don't oversaturate the paper because this isn't watercolor paper. So if you take too much then your paper will start to peel. So that's the crumb cake. This is what it looks like so far. So now I'm going to scribble it off on my paper to make sure the color is gone. Then I'm going to take, I forgot one color because I also need my powder pink. I'm going to use this one for the ears and the mouth to color in. So there's a, not a bit of ink in the lid. I don't need that much either so I'm going to take it out a little bit and put a little of the pink in the ears and in the mouth and I'm doing it really light this is a really light pink color anyway but I hope you can see this there's a little bit of pink in the ears and the mouth so that's that. I clean off my pen again till it's all gone. And now I'm gonna take my 
sweet chili plum. Sorry for the glare. There's enough ink in the lid here, so I'm not going to squeeze it. I'm not wanting the darkest color, so I'm going to take it out a again a little bit. Sorry. I'm going to put this back in frame and color it in really lightly. I just remember I forget forgot to color in the plate with my crumb cake, so I have to get it back as soon as this is done. So, that's the sweet sugar plum. All done. And then I'm going to take my Calypso Carol. Let's look if there's any... Yeah, there's enough ink in the lid, so I don't need it. it again a little bit to the side so it doesn't get that dark and scribble it in again. Like some colored icing on your cake. Oh, that's that. Scribble it off again. Put the lid back on. And then for my last color before I will fill in the plate. It's I'm going to take my soft sky and I'm going to use it for the icing in between and on top of the cake. Let's see if there's still a little bit of ink. Yeah, there is. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm not going to blend this one out that much because it's a pretty light color so I want some to show up so I'm not going to dilute it that much. Just put it in the center there and then a little bit outside of the this piece, the, not the whole piece, but on the edges of the icing there. So I hope you can see that little bit of color there. So let's put this one back and just take out my crumb cake again for that plate. Not too dark again, so yep, I'm still in frame. Uh, you can still see the M um, part that's on the plate, so it doesn't really matter. Like this. Really easy coloring, doesn't take an expert, I'm not either, so it's not that difficult to color in. So that's that, and then we can start assembling this card. What I did is I'm gonna take my crumb cake again and put it away as usual. I'm gonna zoom you out before I go on, because then you can see what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to take my sponge and just go around the edges with my ink to make it stand out from the whisper white background. So, that's it. That's enough. Got it in the ink again. So let's take out my tape runner and just put on some tape and adhere this piece down on my card base. I always check if I'm <laughs> in the right position. I have done it wrong at times. So I'm in the habit of checking it before I glue it down. So that's that piece. Then I'm going to take this strip. Glue this one down. 
the only thing I did different is that I put the stripes not horizontal but vertical as you can see here the stripes are like this and now I put them like this to change it up a little bit so then I'm gonna take this piece put some glue on it center it as best as I can That looks about right. A bit of glue there. So that's that. And this one I'm gonna pop up on some dimensionals. Put my finger in the paper again to release it. And then it goes pretty easy. I've got nails so it shouldn't be a problem, but sometimes it still is. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put it up here, about there. So That's what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to need my stamp one more time and the clips of curl again because I need to stamp my gefeliciteerd my congratulations so this is yeah it fits so I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use my punch to cut it out doesn't matter that this isn't a straight, straight piece because I'm gonna take my punch anyway so just tamp it down yep clean it off right away that's that put this piece back on here and then I can take my punch just lock it unlock it and then you can use your punch to center it as best as you can. And then I'm gonna, yeah, that's great. So that's that. And then I'm also gonna punch it out again in the sweet sugar plum. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that piece. Close it up again, and then I'm cut, gonna cut this piece in half and glue it on the sides because then I can have a bit of a sweet sugar plum picking out on that piece. Yeah, I'm gonna use my wet glue this time because then I can maneuver it if I need to. And I'm gonna put it like that. So you have a little bit of a border around on the sides. And then I'm gonna do that same thing on the other side. it into place about the same amount try to get about the same amount on the other side and if you have some hanging over just cut it off I'm gonna use these ones I love these EK success Carter B scissors yeah like that and then you have a cute cinnamon piece to go there and there I'm gonna use the mini dimensionals to put it down and one in the middle
card back into frame and put the sentiment down about here. I'm going to get it as centered with the circle as possible. Oh, that's how it looks so far and now just adding some of the enamel shapes and then we're done. I'm going to use my preset to get them off the sheet. I'm going to pick them up. I'm always a little bit struggling with these things but it will work out, work out fine. Sorry. <laughs> Another one, I put it here, and then I'm going to take one bigger one. Where did it go? <laughs> oh, on my finger. There it is. And I'm going to put that one right here. So, that's the card. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, well, I, I think it turned out pretty cute. I love coloring these images in like this. And you can see you can just mix and match uh, the products you have. You don't have to use all Stamping Up things or all Marianne Design or all Crayolese. It doesn't really matter. You can switch everything out. And uh, I think it turned out cute. I hope you like it. And I will uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.